today was a good day. We actually got two packages in the mail. This is the seal for the golf cart motor. And this is the clutch for the golf cart. Uh, so we'll spin this camera around, we'll come over here. That is the golf cart motor. That seal is gonna go right here on this shaft. And then that clutch assembly will go right on here. Uh, so hopefully, before this video is posted on Sunday, we will do something here at Redneck Manufacturing that we have not done in a long time. We are going to reassemble something, not disassemble everything. Uh, before we go there, let's take a look at this workbench. I put a new face plate down here on this end from the boxes down because we got all new boxes. You guys seen that? I'm not sure if I showed you this. We got a uh, custom name tag on the doghouse for Gunner. That's compliments of Santa Claus with the laser pecker. And we also uh, did a whole bunch of engravings on this. Uh, we got the dog July 17th, 1992. We had him February 28th, 2010. And his name was Goofy. So we engraved all that on there, engraved some other stuff. Then we went in and we 3D printed these little signs. And I think they turned out really cool. We'll go down to the bottom there on all of them. And uh, sure enough, this one says bolts and lags. If you pull that out, there are the lags and there are the bolts. So anything that looks like a bolt, it went in there. Uh, nuts and washers, pull this one out. Well, we have a couple of oddballs in there, but there's our nuts in the back row. There's our washers. And uh, we got some lock washers over here. So yeah, just trying to get some organization in there. Uh, I still, I'm gonna put some vinyl lettering on here just to make sure that the nuts go here, you know, so we know which box is where. Um, other than that, we got some new engravings on the doors. That one didn't turn out too good. That was right over top of a knot. We also got newer, newer door knobs for the doors as well as the drawers. So you guys had seen that we put the logo on the bottom right hand corner, but yeah, we found some really cool knobs and we went with them. So the top row is all chicken heads. The second row is all faucet handles. And then the third row, get down here. That's kind of hard to tell what it is, but it is a red tractor. So all the way across we have red tractors. So I'm gonna say that the workbench is uh, pretty well remodeled. It doesn't look any better on the top. Pop Pop Gringo was over tonight. He brought me this cool device. Uh, this plugs up to your air compressor. You drop this siphon into a, a jug with some uh, cleaning solution. Not sure what we're gonna use. And I'm, he bought it so we could spray the inside of the transmission for the 53 Farmall. We can spray that out, hopefully with a degreaser or Dawn dish soap. I'm not sure what I want to use in there. Uh, because it has some sand residue in there, we stuffed it full of shirts, but it's still got a sand residue. Uh, so we're going to flush that out really well, and then that's going to get reassembled. We got all of our seals, and we got all of our gaskets now. Plus, we have a couple of new parts, the shift lever. Uh, new brake pads and, and shift uh, rods, or I'm sorry, brake rods. So we got most of the parts that we need to reassemble the rear assembly, the transmission, the final drives, and uh, the axle tube. Um, I helped out a guy with his tree company, and uh, he was nice enough to hook me up with some AMS oil, synthetic water resistant grease. Um, yeah. It's just time to get busy. All right, guys, so uh, you've seen what we did on the workbench. You've seen what we need to do with the golf cart motor. Now let's go in the house and we'll uh, look to see what I already did in here. My wife's been keeping me busy. Uh, so we'll go in here. I'll show you a couple of pictures and show you a little bit of video uh, on what we did in the house. All right, guys, so we've been busy in the kitchen here as well. 
Uh, we used to have two skylights right there. And I'm going to throw a couple of pictures in, show you what they did look like, what they ended up looking like. We got the new roof put on. And then, uh, as you can see in the pictures, hopefully, we put a couple sheets of styrofoam up in there to insulate the holes. Once we did that, we built that box out of the one by. Then we covered it with uh, the shiplap. And my wife wanted lights to hang down. And we only have one switch. So my thought on that was that wire has to run up here and across here somewhere. So I tore the sides out of the one skylight and we found the wire that went from one light to the other. Well, I didn't want to dig down into the wall and I didn't want to put a two switch uh, receptacle box in here and do all that. So what we did was I ran to Lowe's and we picked up this device. This is just for a fan and a light. It's a remote and the box is up inside there. And we rigged the lights up, the original lights. So when you push the light button, they go off, they come on. When you hit the fan button, they go off and they go on. So quite literally, we could turn all of the lights off or we can turn one or turn both or turn the other one off. So yeah, worked out real good. Now we'll show you a little bit on this. I don't want to let myself down, myself. So with that, I'm hoping that my wife is happy with her farmhouse style kitchen. Babe, are you happy with your farmhouse style kitchen? Yep. There it is. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs>